healthy political system. I feel really more relaxed to listen to your conclusion, although I have basic reservation. You refer to other conductors, reports, demonstrations, but at no time, as far as I know, having lived and tested different regimes, the monarchy, the republic, and so forth, more than any one of you, I feel that at that time, the Iraqi identity was pronounced. Today, I have a feeling that this identity has been shattered to the extent that many do believe that Iraq will not survive as we used to know it. How can you document, if you can, your optimistic orientation? I know that will take hours to answer. Well, uh, uh, well, by, by the way, Nuri Said, before he was assassinated in 1958, it was rumor that he said if this military coup d'etat succeed, Farewell to Iraq. That was in 1958. In 2002, a great Iraqi poet, Sa'i Yusuf, said Iraq, as we know it, is gone. There will be no miracle that will bring it back as united country. So I, I would be very happy to see your Basis, the basis of your optimistic orientation. Yeah, I mean, well, the, the pessimistic one, I can understand the pessimistic orientation of some politician of which they may not survive long enough to witness a prosperity. I mean, they always, they wanted to see change happens in their lifetime. And, and any radical change in any country, and if you would explore from the United States foundation days to the to Europe, we're talking about like when it comes to radical change in development and state building, we're talking about the journey of hundreds of years, not talking about 10 years. And any, 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 uh, and I tend not to listen to any fool who would think that 2003 regime change should materialize positively and, and, and beautifully in 10 years or so. I think it's going to take about a generation or two. Uh, uh, we have to remember that Iraq had to experience an unusual uh, um, episode. It was kind of like the back garden of the uh, Persian Empire or, uh, and, 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 the, and the Ottoman Empire for, ma for many centuries. And it was kind of like used as a battlefield. Since its uh, modern inception, even the uh, ruler-drawn borders, uh, it was uh, stitched together uh, in a way that could develop further uh, problems. Uh, now, in terms of like, if I would reflect on the previous, on, on, on the good years or the, the Iraq we used to know, I personally, and I can take, speak on, on in when it comes to my generation, I cannot comment before 1969. Even though that, if I even I would I would I would like to always reflect positively on the monarchy's era because it was a kind of like a democratic to a certain level and, and a successful uh, setting, especially the, the, the end of, of, of that era, and was unfortunately toppled and, and influenced by original uh, politics. Uh, um, I think uh, the Iraq I, I used to know since my birth and from something I. Uh, I don't uh, regret uh, um, uh, not witnessing anything. I mean, it was a bad time. I, during the 70s, as I said, I mean, we're talking about a country that we expect like Twitter and Facebook and social media existed in, in, the, in the 70s and so on. Who, how, how many of you would know the, the amount of deportation that the Iraqi people had to, had to experience 
since 1970s. The Fahey Kurds were deported and, 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 and imprisoned. Execution uh, parties uh, started in 1970s. Uh, so uh, the, the decline of, of what has been kind of like leftover of the legacy of the monarchy was in complete collapse during the 70s. In fact, the end of the most important element of the Iraqi society, the, 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 the middle class, uh, started to disappear either to, uh, uh, to flee Iraq uh, or, and, uh, or to find, uh, basically, or to uh, live in hiding uh, within the Iraqi society until they diminished. We don't have a middle class society. This is our problem in Iraq. When we talk about uh, well-established like a revolution and things, these are kind of like uh, founded and underpinned by the role of uh, the middle class, the educated uh, people. We don't have this. Now we have an opportunity to, to see that middle class develop uh, and using that limited amount of, uh, uh, of, of, of um, uh, basically uh, state development. I know it's not the perfect place. But still, Iraq is a place where you can express your opinion to certain levels. To cert to, uh, uh, and to express it in a way you cannot express it somewhere else, by the way, and in the Arab regions. Other, with the exception of Beirut, if I may. <laughs> it's good. Uh, the uh, Iraqis, um, in terms of like the ethno-sectarian mix, we have 27% of the Iraqi population uh, of the, the, the basically the, 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 the bonds are of mixed marriages from uh, the two different school of thoughts of Islam, of Sunni and Shia, because, because uh, sectarianism, sectarianism also, the, the difference between sects in, in, in Iraq is put, it's been envisaged as difference between school of thoughts, not different religions, not a big taboo. Uh, and you go into neighbors, uh, neighborhoods and you see uh, in, in various cities, uh, uh, people coexist and live peacefully. Yes, there are incidents that take place that these are individuals. As for those, the big negative media uh, uh, images or claims that you see of how that sector, that party did to this sector, it's completely misleading. Uh, believe it or not, even like so-called reputable news agencies take all pictures from Syria from somewhere else, from Pakistan, and stick it on, on Iraq headlines. Uh, uh, all just to flare and, and to basically to, to encourage sectarian uh, uh, strife inside Iraq. So um, I, I would like to stress that the point that the Iraqi people are becoming more educated, uh, more welcoming uh, to reform. Uh, it's going to take time, time matters. But uh, the middle class is, 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 in, 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 is, is, is developing back and coming back again. And I'm very optimistic to see a, a, a prosperous nation over the next uh, 10, 15 years. Well, uh, on that note, I'm reminded uh, that in the 1970s, someone supposedly asked Chu and Lai what he thought of the French Revolution, and he supposedly responded, it's too soon to tell. So maybe that's uh, the story with Iraq. Please join me in thanking. Uh